Hey guys, it's Danny the Traveler. And if you're wondering what I am hauling, too many cars. If you're wondering what I'm hauling, it, it, it is a, oh, if you're wondering what I'm hauling, it is a suitcase mostly filled with Rocky's clothes. And today we're gonna see if we can donate some of them. So uh, yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so we're just finishing our British road trip here in Bournemouth and we're staying at my friend's flat where we're about to make a mess with Rocky's clothes. We are planning to donate them to Waggy Tail's charity shop in Bournemouth. And Rocky's being a big help, as you can see. Good boy! And here we are just going through a little bit more clothes. Here's a nice little uh, Rocky t-shirt or polo shirt. All right, I think that's actually a lot of clothes that we have. Right, so we got quite the pile here. I think what I'm gonna do is just, um, just kind of put it on one more time before I decide to donate it and uh, go over, you know, some of the adventures that uh, we might've gone on while Rocky was wearing this particular piece of clothing. So yeah, let's get on it. So this particular piece, um, I think, I don't actually remember where we got it. Actually, we got it here in England. And uh, one of our most memorable adventures, wearing this little Indiana Jones kind of jacket, or Bane from Batman, um, is in Switzerland. He had worn this jacket when we went to Lauterbrunnen in Switzerland, and it came in handy when we came across some snowy weather. That's the trick. This one seemed to have uh, gotten a little bit smaller over time. And I think it's because we washed it and maybe threw it in the dryer and it's just really shrank. So it doesn't really fit Rocky anymore. And it, it's still quite a little bit, uh, well it's really cool, but it's still, it's just too small for Rocky. That is going on the, that is going on the donate pile. Now this little shirt is pretty cool. It, it's got a little hole over here for uh, when you wear a harness, when your dog wears a harness. And uh, it's pretty long. And Rocky just looks really cool wearing it. Rocky, good boy. That it's quite long. And when you put it all the way down, over here, and he begins to walk in it, uh, and he does his number one. He'll actually pee on the shirt. So we, we've already had this, uh, kind of problem where every time he wears it, we have to wash it. So um, yeah, we're donating it. Obviously we've washed it. Our most memorable adventure with the t-shirt was in Wales when we went to Brecon Beacons Park and saw a few castles. Though he did have a little accident in it, but that's okay, we did wash it. I still really like this one. I don't, uh, I don't know, I can see him wearing it. It's a little bit torn, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if uh, we'll see if we keep it or not. I'll put this in the maybe pile. Now we got this one. Um, he actually has not really worn this one. It's it's really it's quite small. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this one in the donate pile. His adventures with the green sweater took him to Merida in Spain, where he did a little bit of yoga and made sure to roll around in it just to take in a bit more of Spain with it. I quite like this Paddington Bear one, so I think uh, I think we're gonna keep this one. It's still very useful and very new. Um, and um, yeah, we can definitely use it in the UK. And Rocky wore it in his uh, Jurassic Coast Adventures. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll keep this one. Ooh, check this one out. Uh, Rocky the Frenchman, he wore this uh, really only for the intro for our uh, Paris video. And um, when he was helping me uh, market my French Rocky the Traveler t-shirts. So uh, yeah, we'll put it on one more time and take a photo of it. And that's the complete Frenchman costume. 
Um, doesn't really, it's really cool, it's really cute, I think. But, you know, it's not something that we could wear, you know, just around here and there. Rocky certainly could make a lot of money doing a mime performance in the streets of Paris with this costume, but we are going to donate it and hope a French bulldog ends up wearing it. We still got quite a bit to go. So, and here we got a motorcycle jacket. Uh, Rocky's actually never worn this one before. Actually, no, he has one time in a um, small little photo shoot for a photo I put on Instagram. Um, but yeah, let's put it on. I don't, I don't think he'll be wearing it much because it's quite big. And um, yeah, so, We'll put it on and we'll take a photo and uh, we'll put it in a donate pile. Whoa, that jacket looks, uh, it looks pretty cool, but it's quite big on you. But you look like, uh, you look like a badass, Rocky. It's, it's quite all right. It looks quite big. Now the question is, will he ever wear this black jacket? Now, Rocky would look awesome on the sidecar of a motorcycle or as a new Terminator. But I don't actually think he'll ever wear it, so I think we're gonna donate it for another little badass dog. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna take a little break um, just to give Rocky some rest, so we'll see you guys in one second, video-wise, video time-wise. Hi, guys, uh, we're back. Um, here is another little piece of clothing that we found. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. Um, it's a little Hawaii shirt that Rocky wore a few times in Greece and um, a, a few times around in Bournemouth as well. But it's gotten a little bit old, it's gotten a little bit faded. And um, yeah, it's quite small. It, it does fit Rocky, but uh, I think I will still donate it just because, uh, yeah, we, uh, we don't really have much use for it anymore. But uh, yeah, let's take one more picture with it. Right, so this is the next one. Um, it's the uh, military jacket, which is pretty cool. It's actually one of my favorite ones. And it's a lot of people's favorite ones. Uh, when they see Rocky wearing it, they just uh, really love to greet him. Uh, I remember he wore this one when we were in Normandy in France. And uh, that was a really cool adventure. And it's, it's, quite, it's still quite useful. It's very warm, check this out. Um, it's very, it looks very comfortable. I mean, I've never worn it, but uh, if it was my size, I would definitely wear it. But yeah, I think, I think we're gonna keep this one for a little bit longer. All right, next up we got this little uh, dog basketball jersey. Uh, it's pretty cool. Rocky wore it in the intro to our Zakintos video um, in, from Greece. And uh, he wore it in Miami as well for our Florida video, uh, which we, we haven't done yet, but we will be doing it soon. And um, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna donate it because um, yeah, it's just, you know, uh, pretty much just a one-time thing I, or two-time thing and uh, yeah we, we I don't think we really need to wear this he needs to really wear this one anymore so I think I'm just gonna uh, donate it as you can see it looks a little bit tight on him so uh, I'm kind of glad we're gonna give it away and uh, some little dog could hopefully wear it Rocky sit Come on, boy. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got this little uh, cool red shirt, little polo shirt. Um, um, Rocky wore it in a photo shoot, so uh, it's, it's just a tad too tight, and so it's not very comfortable when he's walking, and we just pretty much bought it for the photo shoot. So um, yeah, we're gonna donate it, and uh, hopefully some other cute little dog will wear it, and um, yeah, they'll look like they work at uh, Target. Here, I got this really cool coat. Um, Rocky wore it in the Jurassic Coast as well. I think we will keep this one. Uh, it was given to us as a gift by one of our friends from university. 
And um, yeah, we'll keep this one and put this in the keep pile. And here's another one that I found. A tiny little scarf that Rocky pretty much only wore. Uh, he wore this in the Jurassic Coast as well. And just for another couple of photos. But uh, it's not very practical. It kind of, kind of falls off. Um, oh. Won't fall off me, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, we'll donate it. Oh, here's another coat that uh, Rocky wore in Bath, uh, England. It, uh, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty warm, um, and still looks like it's in good condition. Maybe there's a slight little tear here. The jacket came in handy when we explored Corfe Castle. The winds at the top were severe, so we got some pretty good use out of it. Rocky wore this one uh, in our adventures in uh, Christchurch. Yeah, Christchurch, England. And because it's personalized, I, I think we're gonna keep it, though it's quite long. And um, a couple of times he has peed on it when I when I didn't when I didn't zip it up or when I did zip it up. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep this one because it's uh, it's personalized. A hoodie, Rocky's hoodie. Cool little red hoodie, which is a nice little contrast to Rocky's white fur. And uh, he wore this one in France, in our adventures in France. And uh, I, I quite like this one. I, it's very, I, I don't know why, but I, it's kind of like sentimental value because he wore it in one of our coolest adventures. Um, I think, you know, it's still really cool. Um, I do have a black one somewhere, not in this pile, but it's somewhere, so I'm gonna find that one. It's probably another bag and I'm gonna donate that one. Um, so, yeah. And what do we got here? Another one. <laughs> this also has a lot of sentimental value. It was actually the first coat I've ever uh, bought for Rocky, and I bought it in 2014 when we first moved to England. Uh, it was his first, um, yeah, it was his first sweater, and uh, we wore it when we went to Swanage um, and around Bournemouth. But we haven't actually worn it too many times just because he has so many coats now. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's again, sentimental value and it's, I, I don't want to be like a hoarder or anything. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, let's put it on Rocky and see how it looks like. He looks like he's ready to go to Oxford University. Look at this. Beautiful coat. Um, I don't know whether we should keep it or not. Rocky, should we keep it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Is that a nod? Or yes. Okay. We'll put it. Uh, we'll put it in a maybe pile. Got a nice little, uh, nice little stack here so far. Um, there's quite a few more that I can't seem to find, so I'll have to have a look at and see where they are. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. How many pieces of clothing? One, two, three, four, five six, seven, about eight pieces of clothing. And um, obviously we're gonna fold this and put it in a bag. And um, yeah, we're, we're gonna donate them. And I think I might take a few more from the maybe pile and add them on there. And we got a little Sherlock Holmes um, pea coat or coat. And um, it's pretty cool. We, we just use it for a photo shoot and we use it for a trip to uh, I think to whale or to bath. I think we went to bath and he wore this uh, coat and it's pretty cool. It's still in very, very good condition and uh, looks very premium, but I think, uh, I think we're going to donate it. Uh, we took too long in uh, trying all of Rocky's clothes. So the charity shop is now closed, but we're going to try tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. In the meantime, I gave Rocky some well-deserved peanut butter dog treats. Of course, he didn't eat all the treats at once, as we saved some for later, but something tells me he could have done so if he wanted to. Hi guys, so we're heading over to Waggy Tails right now to uh, donate this cool bag of clothes.
This time around, we came in on time and the charity shop was open. I don't know, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, uh, we just came to donate, uh, it's dog clothes, is that okay? Yeah. yeah? Okay. And some of it's my clothes as well, so that's, uh, yeah. yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank Come you. on, boy. Come on, boy. So we just donated that bag. And uh, it felt really good. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing more of this stuff uh, in the very near future. Because uh, it was fun. And uh, it was actually it was very quick as well. Now that we're finished, let's explore a bit of Bournemouth. I thought it was quite fitting to end our big British road trip in the place that started it all, Bournemouth. It was the first town we lived in when we moved to England. Fortunately, there was a cool Day of the Dead Halloween market day going on at this time, so all things considered, it was a pretty fun adventure in Bournemouth. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Ooh, I should have worn some gloves. <laughs> <laughs>